Hello everyone, in honor of Superman and Lois and the new Christopher Reeve Superman 4K collection coming out next month, I decided to share my top 10 favorite Christopher Reeve moments. Now, this was a tough list, so before I continue, feel free to like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments below, what are your favorite Christopher Reeve Superman moments? So starting at number 10, my favorite scene is the Superman 3 computer fight. Now, originally in Superman 3, he was actually supposed to fight Brainiac, but you know, the technology wasn't quite up there in the budget. So Superman 3 is kind of a more comedic film than the first two ventures. You know, Richard Lester did it. Richard Pryor is in this. He makes the film. You see like this little video game where this computer is just trying to like shoot missiles at Superman. And I just love that sequence all the way him going to the lair. And then this computer is starting to like take over, even grabbing the main henchwoman and like just wrapping her up in wires. It's kind of a frightening sequence considering how everything was in the earlier part of the film. I like it. It's a cool little fight. And this feels like a Superman comic come to life. You know, for a film without Lex Luthor or even General Zod, it was kind of a nice change of pace for the series. And it's just one of my favorite moments from Superman 3. After that at number 9 is the ending of Superman 2, whether that be the theatrical or Richard Donner cut. I love the scene where he goes back to the diner and he basically gives payback to that bully, that guy who beat him up earlier when he was powerless. I love this moment. That guy was such a jerk and Clark gets back at him in grand fashion. And then there's a joke where Christopher Reeves like, I I've been working out, you know, and then he's like, pays for the damages. That was such a great ending and just put a smile on my face. I'm like, you know, Superman is a person who stands for truth, justice in the American way. He is someone to look up to. But I also like that he's willing to kind of like skirt the rules a bit for a bully. <laughs> you know, if somebody really is going out of their way to be a jerk to others, I'm glad that he like gave a little bit of payback to that guy. After that, at number eight is the Superman reveal with a helicopter crash. And that scene where the helicopter starts going haywire, Lois is hanging on for dear life. You get that iconic moment where Clark is just like walking after work. Here is it, and he looks up, sees what's going on. You get that iconic shot where he opens his shirt, just rips off the shirt. And there's even a joke about a phone booth. You know, in the older cartoons and comics, he would change into phone booth, and he's just like, nah. Goes through the uh, spinning doors, and the guy's like, that's a bad outfit. Woo! I just love the moment where Lois falls, and the Superman catches her, and he's just like, I've got you. You've got me. Who's got you? <laughs> and then he just kind of smiles, and... That whole sequence is just a well done sequence. The first time the world sees Superman in action, first time Lois sees Superman in action, and you get that scene where he's just like, don't worry, statistically speaking, flying still is the safest way to travel, you know? I just love that for the introduction of Superman, not only with the way it's shot, but then just the moment between him and Lois. Oh, Richard Donner made a gem of a film with Superman the movie. After that, at number seven is uh, the Superman flight out of the fortress. This is a scene after he finds the Fortress of Solitude. He goes through years of training. We see the simulation with Jor-El, and then we see the face of Jor-El and then his eye, and then Superman standing there. And you get that iconic John Williams theme. And slowly, he just kind of starts to float and then flies and then just flies past the camera. Oh my God, even today, something so simple and practical still just gives you goosebumps, I'm, I'm telling you. And the way Christopher Reeve did it, like he wasn't supposed to turn, and that's one decision he made, is like to turn at the last minute like that. And that just, I mean, it makes you believe a man can fly. After that, at number six is another scene from Superman the movie. I love the origin, you know, you get Krypton, you get the time in Smallville and the Metropolis. In many ways, it's like three different films in one. But I love it where he basically races back home, you know, after seeing Lana's boyfriend act like a jerk to him. He's showing off, and Glenn Ford, he's one of my favorite actors, one of my favorite Jonathan Kents, he's talking about, oh, you've been showing off, son. He's like, yeah, yeah. And he's just like, you know what? I know your frustration. And then Clark's just like, I've, I want to play football. I know I can hit it. I know I can score each and every time. It's like, I know that, son. But you're here to do more than just play football. Okay, I don't know why, what, whatever it is, you were sitting here for a reason, and it's up to you to find out what that reason is. You know, I just, I just love that. It's like the great power comes great responsibility scene with Uncle Ben and Peter Parker, and this is also a very tragic scene. And the fact that you see this father and son here, he just feels like he just came home after school. 
He's playing with a dog. Martha's knitting on the porch, and, and Jonathan's there. And Glenn Ford's acting is just heartbreaking. You realize he's having a heart attack, and he's just like, oh, oh no, not now, no. He, he dies. He basically has a heart attack and dies on the spot there. And then you just hear Clark just be like, Dad, Dad, and he's just like crying out, and then Martha's just yelling, Jonathan, Clark. It's just, that scene is so pivotal. And it's also, not only like, Jonathan's death is pivotal for the Superman character itself, but in this film also, he realizes that he's he is here for a reason. And even with all his powers, he couldn't save his own father, you know? And that shows you that despite all his powers, he can't control everything and he can't stop bad things from happening all the time. There's some people he cannot save, no matter how many abilities he has. And that is just something so profound. And it's just one of my favorite moments. It's a beautiful scene. It's a tragic scene. It's basically the kickstarting point to what makes Clark Kent Superman. After that at number five is a scene from Superman 2. I love the Zod fight in Metropolis. That is a cool fight, but even beyond that is the rematch they have in the fortress. And whether you count the theatrical cut where he throws the S, or if you count the Donner cut, this scene is in both. I love the scene where you find the power chamber and Zod says, go in there and get rid of your powers and swear your allegiance to me. And Lex is a snake. And what's great about this is that you think Superman's about to be defeated again. He's about to get rid of his powers. You go through the whole process of that. And what's beautiful about this is that Superman knows how much of a snake Lex Luthor is and that he was going to do that. What makes this even better is that he's on his knees and Zod's saying, kneel. And he feels confident in his victory. And Superman sh like takes his hand, crushes it, picks him up, and just throws him. No remorse. People talk about Henry Cavill killing Zod. Christopher Reeve did it first, and with a smile. And Lex Luthor's like, we did it! They fell into our trap! And Superman's just like, too late, Luthor. Too late. I just love that scene. Such an iconic scene and, and a great power reversal. Because these people were such a threat. I mean, if one Superman was strong enough, you're like, he's in a fight three? You see the fight, you see the damage they do on Nerf. So like this was a crazy moment where you're like, I don't like feeling this way. Superman might actually lose this time. And it's like, nope, he outsmarts them. And that is an underrated scene. It also shows you that sometimes you have to use mind over muscle. After that, at number four is the Clark Kent reveal, the Superman reveal, but in the Richard Donner cut. In the theatrical cut, he falls in a fire and it's kind of like, okay, you're Superman, you didn't get hurt. This scene was comprised of screen test footage. That's how important this was to Richard Donner when he was in a film. It. I would have loved to see it, despite the continuity errors, though. You really get to see Margot Kidder's Lois shine in a very different way. She's a lot more intelligent in this one. As a matter of fact, she suspects early on in this cut of the film that Clark Kent is Superman and has been trying to prove it throughout the course of the film so far. And then she pulls out a gun. And she's like, you better hope I'm right because if I'm wrong... And he's just like, Lois, what are you doing? Don't, don't! And then she, like, fires the gun. And Christopher Reeve, like, it shows you his performance here. He stops, changes his posture, takes the glasses off. It's like, you realize if you're wrong, Clark Kent would have been dead. And then Lois says, with a blank. <laughs> and I love that she outsmarted Superman. And that is such a cool reveal scene. And, you know, both scenes are great as far as reveals go. But this one, I think, is a step above the theatrical. After that, at number three, it's probably the most iconic scene from Superman 3. And that is the junkyard fight. I love seeing the synthetic kryptonite. You know, it's pretty much like the equivalent of red kryptonite in other incarnations. Superman turning evil. Seeing Christopher Reeve this way. Although... Color palette-wise, he looks more like the modern Superman, I must say, with the, the color scheme. But I love his acting here, where he splits in two, and it's Clark Kent's persona versus his evil Superman. And just seeing him act evil, it's like, come on, come on, come on, come on, dude. And he's like yelling. Oh my god, this is like a crazy fight and some pretty good effects. Some a little dated as far as like the overlay effects, but still, I mean, like pre-CGI, Superman films... Whether they're dated or not, like, they have some great effects considering what was available during this time period. And I just love this fight. And throughout the course, even though Clark's getting beat, he ends up overcoming evil Superman. And you get that iconic scene where he just looks up and he rips the shirt. And he's Superman again, you know? he The good side wins. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
that is just an epic scene and one of Christopher Reeve's best scenes in the four films. Like, I just, I just absolutely love this scene. It's definitely the best scene and highlight of Superman 3. That scene and sequence of fight is worth a mission alone. After that, at number two is one of my favorite scenes from Superman the movie, and that is when he's trying to stop the missiles, the earthquake happens, and Lois Lane basically dies. He's suffocating. He's too late, and you get that scene where he's realizing he might be too late. He's rushing, and then he, he's too late. Lois Lane is dead. He gets her out, and you get that scene where he's like, no, 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 no. Ah! And he's like yelling, like a crazy epic yell of pain. You get to see him going up into the upper atmosphere, and Jarrell's just like, it's forbidden to interfere with human history. It's, it's forbidden to change time. And he's like talking to him, and then you just see Clark just like contemplating what to do, and you hear that flashback of younger Clark Kent, where he's just like, with all those powers, and I couldn't even save him. He's thinking of Jonathan. So with his abilities, no matter how scientifically impossible it may be, he's going to save Lois Lane. And you get that famous scene where he goes around the world and turns back time by rotating the Earth's axis. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, they even kind of poked fun at that scene in the animated film Justice League Doom, but it's just an epic scene all the way to him returning and just talking to Lois, you know? It's just like, yeah, that was a really close situation. Could you imagine what would have happened if I wasn't here? And that's the kickstart for Superman 2 Richard Donner cut, where she's like, you know what? Clark's never around when Superman is. Oh, man. Such an epic scene in Christopher Reeve's first entry. After that, at number one is a scene from Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Despite its flaws and cheesiness, I think it actually did have a very underrated plot about Superman getting rid of nuclear weapons. And it's something that kind of still is relevant today, you know, even though it's past the Cold War. I love his speech at the end when he's talking about peace, saying like, One day I believe there will be peace. The be peace where the people want it so bad that the leaders have no choice but to give it to them. And he's like, I wish you could see the world the way I see it. There's galaxies, unknown galaxies and species out there we have not encountered, you know. And he's talking about the future. That can be implied with the DC comics with like Supergirl or the Green Lanterns and stuff and the Martians and Thanagarians and the New Gods. And I just love that scene. It is a pure Superman scene. And, you know, I love how later incarnations focus on, like, what if Superman existed? How would he be treated? I love that. But one thing that all of them on TV, comics, cartoon, and film have been missing lately is Superman being a symbol of justice, a symbol of hope, a symbol of inspiration. And that speech and the way Christopher Reeve portrayed Superman is just the physical embodiment of everything that is the ubermensch of the Superman. Anyway, those are my top 10 favorite Christopher Reeve moments. Let me know your favorite Christopher Reeve Superman moments down in the comments below. Feel free to subscribe and check out these other Superman-related videos for more content. On my other channel, I'll also have a new special going over my Superman memories. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Stand for truth, justice, and the American way. Till next time.